Hi, my name is Charlotte Skiles. I'm a nutrition consultant and clinical herbalist with Eat in Peace Wellness Consulting located in Austin, Texas. And today's topic that I will be addressing is how to do a full body detox. There are a number of ways to go about this. I'm going to give you a couple of things to think about in terms of how to facilitate this. So the thing that has the most effect on our gene expressions and the health of our bodies is the food that we eat or don't eat for that matter. And in terms of doing a full body detox, that's very often the focus is it's more important what you're not eating than what you are eating. I know that's a little bit of a different way of looking at things, but it's an important one because people can get very stuck on these different diets that are very extreme in nature and may not realize that the success isn't from the diet itself, but it's what you've stopped putting in the body. So if you want to do a full body detox, I recommend focusing on the foods that Mother Nature intended for us to eat. So when you're choosing foods, make sure they exist in nature. Could you theoretically go out into nature and hunt, pick, gather, um, milk a particular, a particular product? It's just as simple as that. Where did the food come from? Did it come from the ground? Did it come from a tree? Is it from an animal that's living the way nature intended? Um, those are the things to think about in terms of the foods that you put in your body. And when you do that, you get a full body detoxification process going on because you're empowering the body to do what it knows how to do. And you're not plugging up the system with an unnecessary amount of what I would consider a toxic burden. Most people are eating foods that evolutionarily the body does not recognize as food. And with that, the detoxification pathways in the body become clogged up. And this eating in this way, the way in which we evolved, you know, some people would refer to this as the Paleolithic diet, but really it's just about honoring our ancestry. Another great organization to look into for this particular conversation is the Weston A. Price Foundation. Weston A. Price was a dentist back in the 1930s that began to notice the tooth decay and jaw deformations associated with the declining nutritional value in our food supply. And so what he did is he dropped his practice and traveled around to isolated villages that had no contact with our Western refined foods. These, some of these villages no longer exist anymore, so it's a good thing he did the research when he did. He looked at Native Americans in Canada, he looked at Eskimos, he looked at Africa, he looked at villages in the Swiss Alps. And what he found were people living under somewhat compromising conditions, but eating the foods that were native to their, their particular locality. And what he found were beautiful people with smiles on their faces and beautiful teeth and healthy jaw structures and, and uh, very fertile populations. And so he charted the themes, the similar themes of these diets. And that's what the organization teaches, the Weston A. Price Foundation. You can Google them and you can begin to research the foods that we were intended to eat. And that is how I would recommend doing a full body detoxification program.